Now let's talk about the ITL Cup final, which is going to go down this weekend. That's what the women's and the men's uh, finals will go down this weekend in uh, uh, Kaduna State. So let's see our confirmation of the fixtures. Uh, for the ladies, uh, it's going to be uh, Rivers Angels taking on uh, the uh, Nasara Amazons. Um, they will meet in the final on Sunday uh, at the Amadu Belo Stadium in Kaduna. Prize money uh, is 10 million naira. That's, uh, that's decent money, you say, for a Nigerian uh, club side. While in the men's final, uh, it's going to be a uh, losing finalist in the last two editions. Yeah. Uh, Canopillars are uh, taking on Niger Tornado. It's going to be on Sunday as well to the same venue. And um, prize money is 25 million naira. 25 to 10. That's a lot. That's, that's, a that's lot. good money. That's good money. Um, but unfortunately, I don't know if the fans are as excited yeah. for their teams. You know, they will be surely. Canopillars, we know they are fans, man. They don't play. Uh, a lot of people have questioned the choice of Kaduna, but, but that's yeah, a story that's for another, another day. day. Yeah. For another day. Yeah. But Canopillars, we know them yeah, to be I, the I fans. guess for, for the male, for the male, the, the men's teams, maybe, mm. the ladies, I, I do not know. But we'll see. The prize money is good. Mm. But if you go to call, Niger Tornadoes, Pillars. The, the pillars. I mean, it's very easy to go with Pillars. Very, very, easy. Easy. very easy to go with pillars, but but you look at the fact that it's a Norton Derby, yeah. right. and it's going to be played in Kaduna, mm. so it's like even Stevens for everybody. Yeah. You know, you have every opportunity to win. Uh, Kano pillars these days too haven't been as impressive as their they used to super be. pedigree has True. been over the years. So um, I would my head goes for Kano pillars really mm. very easily. They have a bunch of bunch of players, right. you know, who you think can get you the, the goods in the bag, but. The cup games always bring surprises. Right. So that, that's the element that goes into, you know, finals like this, like the IT Cup. I just hope everything comes out fine at the end of the no day because, you know, security, yeah. um, crowd, yeah. because yeah. I remember Canopillas the last time I was Good. in Lagos. Right in Lagos. Yeah, Super and now we're talking about closer home, Oof. not even Lagos. Mm. You know, so those things are perhaps what the organizers will have to take extra measures, yes. you know, to, to guard against. So mm -hmm. we can have a very beautiful finals mm -hmm. and, you know, just wrap up the, the domestic It's for the ladies as well. Um, Rivers Angels, um, Nasra Amazons. Nasra Amazons have, interestingly, uh, been, you know, doing pretty good mm -hmm. um, th these days. In, of course, we're in Rivers Angels, Pelican Star, all, all you time. know, all the, all the time. And but, they're defending champions, by the way. Exactly. Yeah, so... Um, I, I, would, I would like to see how that, that one will end. And mm -hmm. Nasser, I'm refusing to, to call it. Yeah, I'm refusing <laughs> to call it because the women's game is very interesting to watch. Uh, unfortunately, I just wish more of these games are on TV, yeah. you oh. know, for us to see. Because, you know, we, we go to the stadiums, we see these games, we can talk about it. But the fans, the average, the fans the yeah, they don't fans understand there, yeah. just how good these ladies are when mm -hmm. they play football. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting that um, these two teams are probably the very best teams in, in Nigerian women's um, yeah, football. Yeah. And um, they'll serve us something to watch, definitely. Mm, definitely. Uh, I'm sure we'll give some highlights after the finals of are done. Course. Yeah, we will uh, definitely. We'll yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'll, st I'll start at the start that losing finalists in the last two editions. But we can't forget the manner in which Pillars lost against Rangers last year. 3-0 yeah. up. Epic. Mm -hmm. That, that, that's, that's the beauty of uh, And that, luckily, yeah, that was on TV final. as well, too. So yes. perhaps, hopefully, this won't be on TV. 3-0 so up, they lost it. So they'll be coming into this. Went to penalties and lost and eventually. Then, yeah. Now, of course, yeah. they'll have that at the back of their mind coming into this final against uh, Tornadoes. And uh, uh, who knows? Like you said, what are you going with? Uh, Canopillas. And uh, so we'll see how it pans out, definitely. So that's it for the ITO Cup final. It's going to be this weekend in Kaduna. And when we come back on Monday, we'll be talking about uh, champions of the oldest cup competition uh, in Nigeria from uh, football on the domestic scene. Let's go international now. Yeah, the Super Eagles are international. And they uh, had a major, major flight, a big flight uh, in the FIFA ranking uh, that was released yesterday. 12 places and now 33rd in the world after winning bronze uh, at the AFCON. After four I, can't, I can't remember the four last time they moved. They, they had such a huge flight. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the FIFA ranking. Yeah, I know. A lot of people it, just, it just gets us hyped. You know, nothing, it's like right? a sugar rush. <laughs> it does, you know, we're all hyped. Yeah, we moved up the yeah. rankings. Um, but, but we, you know, we look ourselves in the mirror and uh, look at the ourselves problems in the are mirror. Still there. And the problems are still mm -hmm. there. Have our game improved? Have we done better? You know, 
big, big questions. But I, I mean, for those excited, congratulations. Nigeria has moved up to yeah. I mean, third, third in the world. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, maybe when we get to the top ten, maybe I perhaps yeah. we begin to feel what you feel. All right. All right. <laughs> you know, I get excited as I mean, well. We've been number five before, so I can understand if you're not excited mm. uh, with 33. But, but you can't take away the fact that on the strength of four fig trees, at the African Cup of Nations. Not you know, any kind of victories as well yeah. against big teams. Cameroon, Cameroon South, 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 South Africa. Africa yeah. you know? Those mean a lot yeah. you know, when it comes to all the competitions to this. Yeah. But with Tunisia and Senegal ahead, you know, perhaps Nigeria needs to get to number one in Africa. Well, that has to be yeah. the target yeah. definitely yeah. going uh, forward. Uh, let's see, so that's it for the Super Eagles and the FIFA rankings. Uh, we're still talking football. Uh, let's talk about preseason our teams getting ready uh, for the new season, which is uh, upon uh, us now. That's, uh, we saw a big matchup between Manchester United and uh, Tottenham yesterday. It ended 2-1 uh, in favour of Manchester United, who are showing great signs uh, preseason, but we know preseason football uh, it's quite yeah, different from when the real action begins. Anthony uh, Martial on target, the first goal uh, for United. And yeah. Angel Gomez uh, scored uh, the winner eventually when that match was 1-1 uh, one -one, uh, at a point. It was a very feisty uh, encounter. If you didn't know, you wouldn't have known it was a, a friendly match. That's how competitive uh, it was. Yeah, I mean, uh, you look at Manchester United, uh, the coach still trying to settle in. I think this is perhaps going to be the litmus test mm. of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the legend, mm. you know, as, um, as a coach. Right. He's forced his way to keep uh, Paul Pogba in the team, despite him wanting out. I uh, will see how that will work. You think that's done and season. dusted? You think so? Um, well, I'm not sure until the season starts, because right. players can be funny. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure some of these players too are trying to get on his good side, mm. very much uh, as much mm. you know as as possible. Or well, when you look at you know the, the friendly. Well, let's go to the papers. We're the own stretch, and we have two papers to review uh, this morning. Let me start with uh, Sporting Life. A lot of interesting stories. Of course, the FIFA rankings uh, mm. top uh, the bill uh, this morning. FIFA rankings. Nigeria jumps to 33rd, move 12 places upwards. Now third. In Africa, a lot of other interesting stories. Dortmund uh, to sign uh, Malcolm. You have uh, Paderborn not ready to sell Jamilu Collins. Mm. And uh, this one statement attributed to Emmanuel Amunike. He said uh, Algeria tactically better than Nigeria and Senegal. Let me allow Ben uh, some of the Nigerian stories, the rankings. Were you excited about the rankings when you were pure, uh, with the Eagles? Yes, I was. Can't be you see, the, 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 the way they they pick up the rankings at times it's difficult for you to calculate. Me, I'm not a mathematician. I don't, I'm not a statistician like my son. But at times you begin to wonder. However, if you win a bronze medal at the African of course, Cup of Nations, you something. deserve some promotion. That's why I said, can we just allow General Rod the to just remain? Right. Mm. That, because he has been to the World Cup, he couldn't get to the second round. He's been to the Nations Cup. He got a bronze medal. For me, that's an improvement. Right. I think what we should do is to keep him for some time and see how it goes. If mm. along the line is misbehaving, so he must take us to the next level. Then you can say, "Excuse me," All right. and then you pay him up. Uh, but how I many case comments quickly? How many case comments? Well, how many came to Tanzania? To the nation's cup, he didn't also lost uh, all do, the games, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't also do too well. Let, let, I don't, he's a fantastic person yeah. because I've interacted with him. I think that if we are looking at the future, yeah, for Nigerian football, mm -hmm. yeah. Emmanuel Amunike is one of the possible. Wow. Yeah. Sunday yes. only said. Can still oh, again? Come back. It can still come back. <laughs> Let me just get Fabio to because it was not the way you mentioned yeah. Amunike as one of the. You agree with? Yeah, I do. I do. I think he's a smart guy. Um, Absolutely. He he, he, he coached the under seventeen team, mm -hmm. uh, yes. and he did well. Yeah. And you you've seen the way he's progressed. And he's one of the very few coaches who have tried to test other waters. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the Samson Sias, Sias, the Stengravon. They really not. Stephen Keshi mentioned you know, Okay. Yes. No. No. no, the, no sure the ones that have no, the like, ones, the ones that have caught the Super Eagles, but haven't even really tried to go, to go out. out there, you know, Stephen yeah. Keshi has proven of that course. he went to Togo. Yeah. You know, he went to Mali. Of course. And yeah. he did so well. Yeah. And for Amunike to to try himself outside and do, I mean, qualify Tanzania for the Nations Cup after so long, you know, it's a step in the right direction. So, and I think it's one for the future, just like he said. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. You know, I, agree. I agree with so you. Support those who want home coaching. Amunike. Amunike. I think, yeah, on the long run, I mean, it's what works. We, we, should, we should also develop these guys. Because at the end of the day, these, the, the guys we are going to pick in Europe, they are developing themselves. 
you know, the Pep Guardiola's, the Jurgen Klopp's, all those guys, young guys, growing in their own system, and mm -hmm. they are going and they are getting exported. Mm -hmm. So how about we also give these guys a chance to grow, yeah. and then we can take them out just like the way Amunike has gone, the yeah. the list in case she went out mm -hmm. and right. did great things too. Right. Mm -hmm. Quickly, let's see complete sports now. Very interesting stories. Eagles saw two best rankings in five years. That's what I want to talk about it. Uh, already willing agrees Chelsea contract extension. Uh, Tom Dele Bashiri speaking on why uh, he dumped uh, Manchester City uh, for Watford. Ozil in car jack terror. Have you seen the videos flying around? <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. around? Scary. Scary stuff. Scary. Scary. You could have and gone really south there. Yeah. Uh, short class in Archer came to the rescue and everything. But they could have e easily injured. They, could wear, they had knives to them. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's scary how... how um, Things happen, and mm. it's not only, I don't know, it's a global phenomenon yeah, now, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I think that, thank God, nothing happened to Thank me. God, yeah, nothing thank happened. Because yeah. we could have been singing a different, different team, team on now. the show this morning. Yeah, so also, this goes out to people who say Nigeria is not safe. Uh, it's, not, it's not peculiar. It's not really like, yeah, it yeah, 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 happens everywhere, yeah, everywhere yeah. in the world. Yeah, even, you know. even the, uh, 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 the, to, to buttress your point, the... Attackers or kidnappers or whatever, they're not coming to Lagos Ibadan Road. So at times, mm. it's even scary to take a good car out because they will, <laughs> they will think that you have so much money and they want to, <laughs> they want to <laughs> kidnap you. You know, we got to go. We got to go. We, we enjoy this. We take it outside. We got to oh go. Goodness. Ben Alaya, Femi at the first. I want to thank yeah. you both for taking our time to come here today. Oh, always, we enjoy always, having you. Always, thank you always. Guys. Always, right. always you enjoy much. to be here. All right. Thank you as well for allowing us to be a part of your day. We enjoy this. Of course, you're going to see us again next week but you can join us later tonight mm -hmm. for another hour of uh, a trip uh, across the money spinning world of sports we are here to buy i'm tired so long enjoy the rest of your day